Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Kali Linux is a powerful operating system used by security professionals. It's specifically designed for penetration testing and digital forensics. With a wide array of pre-installed tools, it allows users to simulate cyber attacks and identify vulnerabilities in systems. This makes it an essential tool for anyone serious about cybersecurity. Think of it as a high-tech lockpick set, but for computers. Just as a locksmith uses specialized tools to open locks, cybersecurity professionals use these digital tools to unlock the secrets of a network. This analogy helps to understand the precision and skill required in ethical hacking. This essay explores how these tools can be used to test social media security. Social media platforms are treasure troves of personal information, making them prime targets for cyber attacks. By using these tools, security experts can identify potential threats and work to mitigate them, ensuring user data remains safe. We'll delve into specific tools and techniques. For instance, tools like Nmap for network discovery, Wireshark for packet analysis, and John the Ripper for password cracking. Each of these tools plays a crucial role in the cybersecurity landscape, offering unique functionalities that help in identifying and addressing vulnerabilities. Hacking without consent is illegal and unethical. It's important to always have permission before attempting to test or penetrate any system. Unauthorized hacking can lead to legal action, including fines and imprisonment. Social engineering is a powerful tool in a hacker's arsenal. It relies on human psychology, not technical prowess. Attackers use manipulation to trick people into revealing sensitive information, this could be anything from passwords to financial data. Phishing emails, fake websites, and baiting phone calls are common tactics. By understanding these techniques, you can better defend against them. Always be wary of unsolicited requests for personal information. If something seems suspicious, it probably is. Kali Linux provides tools to craft convincing phishing campaigns. This includes creating fake websites and email templates. One such tool is the Social Engineer Toolkit, or SET. SET allows for the creation of realistic-looking phishing pages. These pages mimic legitimate websites to steal credentials. Another tool is Kingfisher. This tool automates phishing campaigns, sending out mass emails. It can track which users click links and provide information. Remember, using these tools against targets without consent is illegal. Once a phishing page is live, the waiting game begins. The goal is to capture login credentials entered by unsuspecting users. Kali Linux offers tools to collect this data. Burp Suite is a popular web proxy tool. It intercepts traffic between the user's browser and the internet. This allows attackers to see usernames, passwords, and other sensitive data in transit. This information can then be used to gain unauthorized access. Protecting yourself requires vigilance. Always verify website authenticity before entering credentials. Password cracking involves methods like brute forcing, where hackers systematically try every possible combination of characters until they find the correct one. This method can be time-consuming and computationally expensive, but with powerful hardware and optimized algorithms, it can be surprisingly effective. And dictionary attacks. Often, stolen password databases are encrypted, making it necessary for hackers to decrypt them before attempting to crack the passwords. Encryption adds a layer of security, but it is not foolproof. Hackers use specialized operating systems like Kali Linux to crack these passwords and gain access to user accounts. Kali Linux comes pre-installed with a variety of tools designed for penetration testing and security research. Now tools like Hashcat and John the Ripper are incredibly powerful for this purpose. Hashcat is known for its speed and efficiency, capable of utilizing the power of GPUs to accelerate the cracking process. John the Ripper, on the other hand, is highly customizable and can be used for both brute force and dictionary attacks. They use brute force methods, trying different password combinations until they find the right one. This can involve millions or even billions of attempts, depending on the complexity of the password and the strength of the encryption. Another method is dictionary attacks, 
which rely on pre-compiled lists of common passwords and phrases. These lists are often compiled from previous data breaches and can include millions of entries, which use lists of common passwords. Dictionary attacks are generally faster than brute force attacks because they limit the number of guesses to a predefined list, but they are only effective if the password is relatively simple or commonly used. These tools can be customized with specific word lists for increased effectiveness. For example, a hacker targeting a specific organization might create a word list based on the company's name, products, or other relevant information to increase the chances of success. Remember, strong and unique passwords are your best defense. A good password should be at least 12 characters long and include a mix of letters, numbers, and special characters. Avoid using easily guessable information like birthdays or common words. Use a password manager to generate and store complex passwords. Password managers can create highly secure passwords and remember them for you so you don't have to. This way, you can have a unique password for every account without the hassle of memorizing them all. Public Wi-Fi networks are often targeted by hackers. Kali Linux provides tools to exploit vulnerabilities in these networks. Aircrack NG is a suite of tools for assessing wireless network security. It can be used to capture network traffic and crack Wi-Fi passwords. By sniffing data transmitted over the network, attackers can intercept sensitive information. This includes login credentials, financial data, and personal messages. Avoid using public Wi-Fi for sensitive transactions. Use a VPN to encrypt your traffic and protect your data. Hackers use Kali Linux to gather information from social media. This powerful operating system is specifically designed for penetration testing and security research. It comes pre-installed with numerous tools that make the process of gathering intelligence efficient and effective. This information can be used to launch further attacks. By analyzing the data collected, hackers can identify vulnerabilities and plan their next move with precision. The intelligence gathered can reveal patterns, behaviors, and even the daily routines of potential targets. Tools like Maltego and Rekine automate the process of gathering data. Maltego, for instance, can visualize complex relationships between people, companies, domains, and other entities. Rekong, on the other hand, is a full-featured reconnaissance framework that provides a powerful environment for open-source intelligence gathering. They can map out relationships, identify key individuals, and uncover sensitive information. This mapping is crucial for understanding the structure and connections within a network, making it easier to pinpoint weak spots and potential entry points for an attack. By piecing together information from social media profiles, Attackers can build detailed profiles of their targets. This includes personal interests, locations, friends, and even family members. Such detailed profiles can be exploited in various ways, from phishing attacks to more sophisticated social engineering tactics. This information can be used for social engineering attacks or identity theft. Social engineering attacks manipulate individuals into divulging confidential information, often by exploiting their trust. Identity theft, on the other hand, involves stealing someone's personal information to commit fraud or other crimes. Be mindful of the information you share online. Even seemingly harmless details can be pieced together to form a comprehensive picture of your life. Regularly review your privacy settings and be cautious about who can see your posts and personal information. Limit the personal details you post on social media. The less information you share, the harder it is for attackers to gather intelligence on you. Always think twice before posting and consider the potential risks of sharing personal information publicly. Hacking without consent is a crime. The consequences can be severe, including fines and imprisonment. The Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, or CFAA, is a federal law that prohibits unauthorized access to computer systems. This includes social media accounts. Ethical hacking, however, is legal. This involves testing the security of systems with the owner's permission. Always obtain written permission before conducting any security testing. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. The tools and techniques discussed in this essay can be used for good. 
Ethical hackers use their skills to identify and fix security vulnerabilities. By understanding how hackers operate, you can better protect yourself and your organization. Use this knowledge to strengthen your defenses and stay one step ahead. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your skills ethically and help make the digital world a safer place. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and use your powers for good.